and behold, this was a long time coming. What is up, people YouTube? It is I, Super Mariozilla, or you can call me Vinny. And today, uh, haven't done this in... How long? Oh! Whoops. But anyway, I am ba back here today with another video, and this time it is a collection video. How long has it been since I show my... Oh, wait, I already used that joke. So, it's been a long time ever since I showed everybody my collection, and ever since then, it's gotten a, a lot bigger. Some of these figures I have not even seen nor unboxed, because I sort of dropped out of those, do plan to get back into it when the next figure comes in. But it's also because I'm trying to catch up on, on a little backlog I got. I think I may have a solution, so I'm going to announce that when this video is said and done. So, without further ado, let us get started, shall we? Do keep in mind, this is going to be a very lengthy video, because... Well, first of all, this is unscripted, so I apologize about my stuttering and mumbling. And at the same time, there's a lot of figures I need to go over and need to, you know, speak of. Maybe not all of them, like, I'll explain that as I go along. But anyway, let's not waste any more time and get around to showing you my collection and my reworked room. Alright, so here we are. We are getting started with some of the video game stuff. Moving on up here, if my voice sounds... Weird, it's because I need to raise my arm to reach these guys. First up, we have the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter figures, which I recently started collecting. I need to get the rest of them, even though some of them have already hit the aftermarket. But hey, then uh, this is all I got for right now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, besides one, I'll show you him in a second. We got Sagat, we got M. Bison, and we got Blanca, who's my favorite of the bunch. Moving on forward, we have the, fi the Figma female uh, 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 Splatoon girl from the uh, two pack, the deluxe two pack. I, I do plan on getting the um, the, the Inkling male uh, two pack uh, uh, soon. I'm not sure how soon, but hopefully hopefully I can get it before it sells out. Next up, we have the D Art Space and Treble. It's pretty cool stuff. Moving on over, we have the SH Figure Arts Injustice Gods Among Us figures, which I have held on to. We have Joker, we have Harley Quinn, we have Superman, and we have Batman. And over here is a trophy because I won a Injustice tournament, so that was pretty cool. So there was a funny story behind that, but it's not for this video. Anyway, we have the NECA uh, Crash Bandicoot figures. This one, that one, and this one. And the NECA Spyro, pretty cool. Moving on down, we have the Figma Persona 5 figures, because I love Persona 5, and I, and I just started collecting these guys, um, like almost a year ago. We got Joker, we got Skull, we got Noir, we got Mona. We got Panther, we got Fox, and we got Queen. So that is some pretty cool stuff. This is an empty shelf right here for, for whatever could go on here. Next up, we got the three inch uh, Jazzwares uh, Sonic the Hedgehog figures. We got Super Silver, Sonic and Shadow, the three pack. Back there, you can see Blaze the Cat, regular Sonic, SBO, Classic Sonic, Modern Tails, Knuckles, Classic Tails, Shadow, and the special edition Shadow and Silver the Hedgehog uh, two pack. We would we, we have this like a glittery uh, finish. Over here, we, we have a bit of the oddballs that, that I don't keep on regular shelves. Here we have uh, this old Batman statue, which the ear broke off. Uh, I need to uh, like like get around to to uh, re-sculpting it and painting it. This uh, this trophy, which I won at a tournament. This Batman and Robin uh, mug that, that I have. The figure of Zero, uh, Goku. The Diamond Select statue, Spider-Gwen. Two Funko Pops, we got Vegeta and Spider-Man. And this weird Burger King toy of Venom that was that, that was released around Spider-Man 3 from when I was new. Got this, uh, I think it's Ben Presto, Super Saiyan God, uh, Goku statue. This old Wolverine uh, kid story that was given to me as a gift. This Catwoman statue, which is the same brand as Batman over here. Got this Aged Venom, which was a graduation gift from my sister, so, so thank you for that. A uh, little love you. This Hulk toy that I kept ever since childhood. It's an old childhood toy. As well as this Thing figure. And as well as the super as the superhero squad figures like Iron Man, Spider Man, the Human Torch, and the Incredible Hulk, and this uh, weird squishy water gun thing that came in cereal boxes again when Spider Man Three was coming out. I choose to, to keep these because you, you never know that they, they could end up being collector's items. But also, I, I just don't like that sort of thing. We have a very old uh, Venom from the Spectacular uh, Spider Man TV show. It, it, it's very old, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember getting it. Well, it when it was brand new, and you know, I, I still think it, it's a decent figure. N not as good as Marvel Legends, but hey, it's still is pretty nice. 
Next up, we have Spectacular Spider-Man, which is a uh, another Burger King toy. When I was a uh, thing, this very old uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man uh, articulated figure kind of thing. It's not ar really that articulated, but that swivels. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Again, I'm holding on to it because hey, you never know. This tiny little Mysterio figure over here. This rubber ducky, which was a prize at, at my school because I won a Smash Brothers tournament. Yeah. This again, this is the same thing as uh, the the Venom fi figure right here. I had a Sandman one, Sandman one too, but uh, I lost that one. Next up, we have a Superman statue, which is the same thing as Catwoman and Batman over here, same brand. So that is uh, pretty cool. Uh, uh, really happy to have all, all these guys. So shall we uh, move on? And this is where I am going to struggle. I need to make sure that not too much darkness from a shadow is hitting the figures. And I need to move. And I'm gonna have a hard time making sure everything is in focus. So I apologize. Uh, about this, this is a really bad shot for, for me because of the damn lights. The you know just casting my shadow in the worst ways possible. So anyway, we got a Spider Verse section. Lots of Sp Spider Men. I'm not going over every single individual legend because I have like, like almost a, a couple hundred of these. So no, it, it's not happening. I will show you guys a, a glimmer of what I have, and maybe you can recognize them if you if you uh. If you don't recognize any of these guys, just uh, j just leave a comment saying which timestamp you found them in, and I'll be sure to answer you. Yeah, I have a lot of these, and I plan to get more. There is a sh** one. There, there is a sh ton with, with which I which I have and have not gone over. Uh, by the way, that Doc Ock has uh, the custom metal arms, which everybody has. Also, I finally got Green Goblin and Hobgoblin after so long. Yeah if, I, uh, yeah, if I'm missing a couple or the shots are like really that bad, I, uh, uh, I do apologize. Because this is not the most ideal way to, to, to film these. To, to, to film these guys. Pretty cool stuff. Again, I have a lot, which are either from the vintage waves, the regular waves, or the individual carded uh, figures, like the Walmart exclusives, etc. Here are the Hulk figures, which are some of my favorite. I still need to do to get Red Hulk because my target absolutely sucks. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, a lot of the 80th anniversary stuff, stuff as well because hey, it's Marvel. All right, so moving on over, I got uh, got some more Marvel stuff with the shelf uh, incredibly low. Need to the, to see if we, we can fix that somehow. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot harder capturing these uh, figures. Well, but hopefully you can still recognize who, who, who some of them are. And again, I have hundreds of these to go over, uh, to go over them individually. That, that 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 would drive me mad. It would absolutely drive me mad. In the darkness, you, you can see a bop, bop, abomination. Just in case you can't see them, uh, there's space of venom. I lost out some of them uh, if they're, they're hard to make out. There's beast. Uh, Death's hand two is back there. Yeah, again, not the most ideal way. And over here we have Bid 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 Ray Bill. Pretty cool. Over here, these are some of the motorcycles and dioramas, miniature dioramas that the older figures that come with, or the newer motorcycle figures that come with. So, yeah, here's that. I oh, wanted to show that, that off. So, so that's all the the legend stuff uh, for now. But uh, how's about we how's about we uh, move on? And over here we have well, one of my favorite shelves, and this is the Mezco slash Rumble Society shelf. Um, a couple figures I am missing, but I am happy with how it is right now. Here we have the Mezco 112 Baron Benz and the Aquaticons. Here we have the Golden Dragon Clan Gomez with the little, little grub. Here we have Agent Gomez, which I picked up uh, at New York Comic Con. Here we have uh, G Gomez, Agent Gomez, the roach with the golden head. Here is regular Agent Gomez. This is the Toy Fair version, which I found for an insanely good, good price. And, and my favorites of the bunch, the Pink Skulls Chaos Club. They are incredibly good figures. Love them so much. They, 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 they really are. They're, they're like 
the, the, like the top 10 favorites for me. Moving on, we have the Mezco Marvel figures. Mezco, Spider-Man, focus, sorry about that. Iron Man, Blade, uh, the MDX version. Deadpool, Daredevil, the Punisher, the Special Ops version. Gambit, which is a new edition, and uh, Cable, which, fun fact about him, I won him in one of the Mezco Mondays on their Instagram, so I basically got a free Cable. I could have paid $100, but instead I got him for free 99 so yeah, that, that was awesome. We got the DC shelf right here, here is Deathstroke, here is Darkseid, here is uh, Reverse Flash, or Zoom, or whatever you want to call him, here is Catwoman. Here is the Sovereign Night Batman. Here is the classic Superman. Here is Flash, which I found for uh, a pretty good price. Wonder Woman, the classic version, uh, the, the, the exclusive version. Hal Jordan Green Lantern, which I also found for, for a great price because a buddy of mine sold it to me and he is known as Daredevil19. Be sure to check out his channel. I'll leave it in the description below. Here is Green Arrow. Here is Arsenal. Both of them are decent figures. I just absolutely hate the, the ankle articulation. And one of the newer additions is Harley Quinn, which is a pretty solid figure. Just hate the uh, single jointed elbows. Same problem that, that plagues a uh, cavalry woman. Over here we have the some of the exclusive or different variant uh, Marvel characters. Here we have Black Suit and Moon Knight. Uh, I have them here because uh, because I'm gonna get like standard Moon Knight. I put them with these guys. Here we have uh, first appearance Doctor Strange from New York Comic Con. Here's PX Previews uh, Symbiote Spider Man. And this is uh, Ronin 5 uh, Wolverine, uh, the ex an exclusive from New York Comic Con, so that's awesome. Here we have another New York Comic Con exclusive. It's the Black Mask and Onyx Sovereign Knight Batman exclusive. Uh, these these two are pretty damn good figures. Just hate that they, they use the uh, Joker body for Black Mask. Here is the Bat Signal, which came with uh, Commissioner James Gordon, which is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. exclusive. You, you can also see that his... Uh, uh, cardboard diorama is there too because I don't really have anywhere to put it. Here is Batman Beyond, one of my favorite uh, figures of all time. Here's the Ascending Knight Batman, the first version. I don't have any other version because I, I really do, uh, don't care about that. And we have the Onyx Batman, which was too good to pass up and it was the closest thing I could get at the time, which is a Michael Keaton Batman. Am I going to get that figure? <sighs> Thinking about it, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not losing any, any of sleep if I don't. So that's, a, so that's pretty much all of the Mesco stuff for right now. I, I am I'm gonna get more in the future, so let us uh, move on to some of the other stuff. And right here we have the NECA Alien and Predator shelf. It is starting to get, to get crowded up already, which is bad because I need because I'm gonna get all other Alien and Predator shit. So, <laughs> whoops. Anyway, um, over here we have the six pack uh, face hugger eggs for the Alien stuff. I have, I have the uh, Batman, the DC stuff with them as well because you know they were part of the two packs. Here's the Predator that was with the Batman, the Armored Batman. Here's Armored Batman. Here's Green Lantern. Here is uh, Sinestro Core uh, Predator, well, one of my favorite Predators. Ahab uh, Predator, which lost some of the wires, so it sucks. Here we have uh, one of the movie Predators. Predator Scar is back there, as well as uh, Celtic Predator, which is very hard, hard to see. And, uh, and uh, Chopper uh, Predator is there as well. Here we have first movie Predator. And the uh, second movie Predator. Here's the video game variant of the uh, Runner and Alien from the, you know, the NES game, which is actually a, a decent figure. Here is uh, the uh, the Ultimate uh, the Ultimate um, Hunter Predator, I think that's what it's called. Uh, I'm probably messing it up, but this is a fantastic uh, Predator figure. It is, it's great. This is the Scorpion Alien. I have two of them for the sake of Army Bit Building. So yeah, these figures are also uh, pretty damn nice. Here's the Snake Alien, which. Uh, I want to get an extra one of them as well, you know, for army building purposes. We have Mantis Alien, which was traded to me by Ultrazilla Toys. Be sure to check out his channel. He traded it with me for a Nendoroid Sonic I had at New York Comic Con. So that was pr pretty damn awesome. Uh, you know, be sure to check out his channel, check out his content. He does some great stuff. If you like my stuff, you'll, you'll also like his stuff. Here is the Joker Alien that came with the Batman. And here is the regular uh, Xenomorph that came with uh, Superman. So that's the, uh, the NECA Alien and Predator side of things. All, all, most of them are awesome figures. So, so some of them are, are kind of stinkers, but hey, uh, uh, they're still pretty de decent figures. So I'm happy to have them. So with that, uh, so with that, so with those guys out of the way, let us uh, move on.
And of course we have the Dragon Ball shelf with a bunch of figures I still need to review. I have most of them rendered, but they are some of them are, have the older audio, so you're gonna have, have to forgive me for that once I post them. I'll, I'll post more, more details about it later. Later. <laughs> Here we have Kid Goku, uh, the event exclusive. We have Kid Krillin. We have Jackie Chun. Shenron is behind him. Master Roshi. Standard edition Kid Goku. We have Bulma. I need to get the Adventure Begins Bulma. I still don't have her. Tail Pai Pai. Tien. New edition is Kid Chi Chi. She is a cute figure. Chao Tzu that came with Tien. Here is King um, the King King Piccolo. It, lo lo it looks like Yancha's there, but uh, we fell backwards. Dumbass. Here is uh, the the first 1.0 Son Goku. Here is Gohan. Super Boo. Trunks, uh, the Saiyan Armor version, and Saiyan Armor 2.0 Super Saiyan Vegeta. Back here, we have the San Diego Comic-Con uh, Piccolo, sold to me, again, by Daredevil19. It's an awesome figure, and thank you so much for including a cloth cape with it, because I love that more than, than the regular cape. Here is the Trunks uh, figure, the premium color version. The premium color version Vegeta is there as well. Here is uh, Brilli, the event exclusive version. Here's the regular version Brilli. I don't have the SDCC one at the moment. Here we have uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Teen Gohan. Here we have uh, Saiyan Raised on Earth 2.0 Goku. 1.0 Super Saiyan Goku. 1.0 uh, manga version Piccolo. S Kaioken Goku. Here, there's Nappa. There's the Cybermen that came, they, they, they came with uh, Yamcha. And over here is the big boy. We have Great Ape SH Figure Arts Vegeta with the two other Figure Arts uh, Vegetas in front of him, 1.0 and 2.0. By the way, Great Ape Vegeta is a, is a fantastic figure. Uh, I'll go into more detail when I review him, but he's definitely a uh, figure of the year right now for, for me. May change, but who knows? He, 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 he's just stunning. Off to this shelf, we have a uh, uh, final form, uh, Frieza, Resurrection F Frieza, technically. Premium color cell, a Warrior Waken, Super Saiyan Goku, 2.0 Gohan, still a mediocre figure, uh, like, F the angles. Here we have event color cell, we have Vegeta, here we have uh, Mr. Satan, we have Android 18, we have event exclusive Android 18. Android 17 and event exclusive Android 17. There's Android 16. Here's event exclusive adult Gohan. I have the Super Saiyan hair on, on him. Majin Buu. Majin Vegeta. Gotenks. Again, not nah, not not the best of figures. There, there's the Kamikaze Ghost. Great Saiyan man who is a much better figure than even I expected. Super Saiyan 3 2.0 Goku, which again is a fantastic release. And over here we have Captain Ginyu, the SH Figure Arts, which is new. Cannot wait for the other Ginyu Force figures to come out. I have all of them uh, so far in pre-order. Uh, Birder was just revealed, so revealed to be one of the next figures. So definitely cannot wait for, for that. Moving on, we're actually still not done. We have the uh, 1.0 Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, whatever you prefer. Here is Golden Frieza. Here is event exclusive Golden Frieza, and you can see that that, that they're on the little Dragon Ball stance. Here is uh, Dragon Ball Super Trunks. He has the Super Saiyan Rage hair. Here is merged Zamasu. I already have the uh, the regular Zamasu uh, pre-order, as well as 2.0 Vege Vegito, because here is 1.0 Vegito Blue event exclusive. Here's Goku Black. The Goku Black event exclusive is behind him. Here is Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, and here is um, o Omen. Master Ultra Instinct event exclusive Goku. Here is Jiren. Uh, that little uh, card came with, came with one of the figures in New York Comic Con, I think it was. Here's the SH Figure Arts Android uh, 21, the Majin version. Uh, she is waifu for laifu. Uh, uh, don't hate. Here is the SH Figure Arts Whis. The SH Figure Arts Lord Beerus. Here is the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Here is the SH Figure Arts uh, Movie Broly, well, before he ripped out of his armor. Here is the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue uh, Gogeta. SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue 2.0 Vegeta. Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta. I just really realized what I just said. Here is the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan God Goku. And here is the 
legendary Super Saiyan Broly from the new movie, which is a fantastic figure. That's all the Dragon Ball stuff for right now. More is definitely on the way. And I do plan to uh, eventually complete this line. You might be noticing, yeah, Krillin is missing because I had to sell him because he ended up breaking on me. So I am going to replace him when that time comes. But for now, this is all I got, and I'm happy where it is at the moment. And we got some more superhero stuff to talk about. So let's get right into it. Here is the Mafex classic comic book Spider-Man, comic Wolverine, comic Deadpool, and comic Venom. Um, I'm missing Cyclops right now, and I don't kick and I do not care care about Gwenpool at all. So yeah, so I, I want to get Cyclops, which hopefully can happen soon. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Here we have the Revoltech Wolverine. I did not really pose him yet because because I was still in the process of moving things. I just left him as he is. Here is the Revoltech Deadpool. I sold the other Revoltechs, which I do plan to get back one day in the future because I sold them to get the Mafex figures. So hopefully that'll happen. But my eyes are on something else that is Revoltech, and I think if you guys know my love for My Hero Academia, you probably know what that is. Here is the Mafex Hush Batman, the blue version. This is a absolutely gorgeous figure. This is one of my favorite Batman figures of all time. No ifs, no ands, and no buts. Here is the Revoltech Amazing Yamaguchi Batman, which again is just a flawless figure. Just absolutely uh, flawless. And by that, I mean I am joking oh! because this figure sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, the, the figure itself is fine. It's it's the cape that's so irksome. Like, my god, I hate it. This shelf is mostly empty. That's because it, it's going to be reserved for uh, Gamerverse uh, Marvel figures. So for right now, we have the Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man PS4 version. The figure arts version I have somewhere else. You'll see that in a bit. But anyway, yeah, he's relegated to here for right now. Moving on down, we finally have some Marvel Cinematic Universe figures to cover. First up, we have uh, option at the wall with a few figures on display on it. Here we have uh, the first version of Doctor Strange. Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man. Far from home Spider-Man. Captain Marvel. Stealth suit uh, Spider-Man. Here we have Tony Stark, the figure arts. Iron Man Mark 46. Captain America from Civil War, Civil War Black Panther. I don't have the Civil War Ant-Man BB because that thing broke on me. Here is the SH Figure Arts uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Rocket Raccoon with uh, Baby Groot. Here is Ant-Man from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Here is Star-Lord from Guardians of, the, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Here is Black Widow from the new movie. And here is Taskmaster from the new movie as well. Here is Ronin from Avengers Endgame. Infinity War Rocket Raccoon. Second version of Doctor Strange. Here is Iron Man Mark 85, the first release. Here is Captain America from... End game, the first release. Here is Thor, the no, Fat Thor, the first release. The second version is coming up. Infinity War Thanos and Endgame Thanos. Scarlet Witch just fell back there, so. Okay, there we go. We have Scarlet Witch. Which I am also you know, getting the end game version since that's technically the Infinity War version. This is uh, the Mark, Mark uh, 50 uh, Weapon Iron Man, Mark 50 Regular Iron Man, and Mark 50 Why the Hell Does This Figure Even Exist Iron Man? Figure Arts uh, War Machine from Infinity War. Figure Arts uh, Crappy Spider from Infinity War. Figure Arts uh, Endgame uh, Black Widow. Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America. Figure Arts uh, Infinity War Hulk. Figure Arts Infinity War Black Widow with the blonde hair. Figure Arts Infinity War Thor. And the Figure Arts Ch uh, Times Chagokin Infinity War Hulk Buster Mark II. This is a great figure as well. Moving onward, we have most of the other uh, current MCU Endgame characters. Uh, Endgame onward, I mean, here is, well not, uh, you know, you get what I mean. Here is Hawkeye the, from Endgame. Here is Nebula, the Infinity War version. Star-Lord from Infinity War. Falcon from, Infi from Infinity War. Black Panther from Infinity War as well. The SH Figure Arts much better Iron Spider. SH Figure Arts Infinity War um, Winter Soldier. SH Figure Arts, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man SH Figure Arts, Ant-Man and the Wasp, The Wasp, excuse me. Here's the Endgame Ant-Man. Same figure as the Ant-Man and the Wasp version, just, you know, it's Endgame. Endgame Final Battle version of Captain America with Thor's hammer. 
decent uh, Mjolnir. Final battle version of Iron Man, even though we're getting a new one coming out soon. Uh, Pepper Potts, uh, the Rescue Armor, SH Figure Arts, and the SH Figure Arts Professor Hulk with the uh, gauntlet that, with the Nano Gauntlet that came with the um, Endgame Iron Spider, so that's pretty neat. That's all the MCU uh, Marvel stuff, so that's pretty cool. I'm happy with pretty much all these figures. They are, most of them are, are pretty damn good. We got some stinkers here and there, but overall, it's a nice, it's a, it's a, it's a nice collection uh, as of now. On display on the gamer side of things, we have the SH Figure Arts PS4 Spider-Man. Just chilling uh, on top of my PS4. Right here we have the Figma Oracle, because I do not know where, where to uh, put her as of yet. And we have some Bendy and the Ink Machine stuff that a lovely friend gave to me uh, for birthday gi gifts and, and Christmas gifts. So thank you so much for that. Uh, 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 I love these guys. Pretty cool stuff. And down here... Out of the way, we have two Hot Toys. We have the Hot Toys PS4 Advanced Suit Spider-Man and the newest edition, the Hot Toys Far From Home Homemade Suit Spider-Man, which is a bl bloody fantastic figure. Like, it is amazing. Uh, no ifs, no ands, and no buts. It is gorgeous. Just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And we got some Mortal Kombat figures to talk about, some more video game stuff. Here is the Storm Collectibles Goro, the Storm Collectibles Baraka, Storm Collectibles uh, Shao Kahn and the Storm Collectibles Noob Saibot. We got Sector's accessory there because you know, you know, it doesn't really fit on any other shelves, uh, shelves, and I need to put that back. Down, down below, we have the the Storm Collectibles uh, Mortal Kombat 2 Ninjas: Ermac, Scorpion, Rain, Sub Zero, Smoke, and Reptile. Pretty cool. And here we have the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat 3 stuff. We have Smoke. Cyrax, Sector, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero, which is pretty cool. And we have Space Reverb Reserve there, just in case any other MK3 character decides to pop up. And the newest, newest edition, which literally just came at my doorstep uh, a couple hours ago, is the Storm Collectibles Raiden. Fantastic figure, might actually be my, my, my favorite Mortal Kombat Storm figure out of all of them, as of right now. Maybe that will change when I get the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Scorpion, but who knows. Here we have a lot of Nintendo stuff and Mario stuff, j j j just cute stuff I decided to keep from childhood. Down here we have the D-Arts Blastoise and the D-Arts Venusaur. Some, uh, some other, po uh, uh, some other uh, uh, po uh, Pokemon stuff from Tomy. From Tomy. Here is uh, here is some, some Toys U.S. exclusive uh, Sonic toys back there. Right here is a Mario Galaxy uh, 1 coin that came with the game when it first came out. So. Love that piece. Here we have, here back there we have a four pack of the Mortal Kombat Ninjas that came in the Mortal Kombat 9 uh, four pack. We have a three inch version of Ermac and Raiden back there from MK9. Here we have a basic Wario figure. I think that's from Jazzwares. As well as uh, Donkey Kong right here who's another childhood toy. We have Figure Arts uh, Mega Blaze again. World of Nintendo Giganador from, from uh, Wind Waker. We have the Tomy Snorlax, the Tomy Sonic the Hedgehog, classic Sonic, the Tomy Neta Tapu Koko, SH Figure Arts P uh, Pikachu, and SH Figure Arts Fire Mario. It's a shame the Figure Arts Mario line died when it did. Moving on down, we have this little playset for the uh, for for just a miniature Mario figure. He, he, he sort of just fell down there, so eh, that's nice to have. I love it. We got the Godzilla DVDs from from the. Uh, from the deluxe pack I got, and also uh, Game & Watch Amiibo pieces, because I don't don't know where to put those yet. And we got the Sonic Mania cartridge, just in case I want to play it on my fabled Sega Genesis. Actually, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm uh, joking. It's just, you know, it's a holster ring, because it came with the uh, collector's edition. So, yeah. Here, here we have uh, the 10-inch uh, Mario. Here we have the 10-inch uh, Modern Sonic. Here we have regular Sonic from Jazzwares, Super Sonic from Jazzwares, Mario. Toad, Luigi, uh, so the Warhog from Jazzwares, I believe. Um, Sonic and the Black Knight Sonic from Jazzwares, and the sword is right there. He sort of just slipped out of his hand. Yoshi, Super Posers uh, Sonic, which again it needs to be dusted, and Super Classic Sonic from Sonic Generations, and also from Jazzwares. So that's pretty cool. And here we go, we got some more f video game stuff. Here is a plush of Freddy Fazbear, which I won at a crane game at my supermarket. Uh, that's an experience I'll never, I'll never forget. 
some Amiibos, Mario, Sonic, Bowser Jr., Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Ryu. Yeah, I, yeah, I have a lot of Amiibos, too much to list. I, am I going to get more? Uh, it depends. It, it, it honestly got depends. Super Posers, Knuckles, Tails, and Shadow, which have no place as of yet. Uh, Boo Mario from Galaxies back there. I think that was from... I think that was Jazz Wars. As well as a Super Mario Galaxy statue of Mario. And some, uh, uh, some of these toy Pokeballs that I kept from ch since childhood. It's pretty awesome. Spawn, the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, which is still a decent figure. Model Kit Kamen Rider, which was a birthday gift from William Chops, uh, also known as Michael. You may know him, he played Kyle in my Godzilla fan film, Godzilla Vengeance, so thank you very much for that. Figma Deku, Izuka Midoriya. Figma Bakugo, uh, Kashat. Uh, Model Kit Optimus Prime, because I know I want to slowly get into Transformers, but I'm only cherry picking. SH Figure Arts, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, we have Leonardo. Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Down here we have these, some of the more classic and older uh, Marvel stuff, either from Select or from Legends, or, or, or maybe they're from another line, such as Spider-Man classics. There's the Marvel Select Hulk, Thanos, Doom, Spider-Man's there, the, the older Marvel Select Spider-Man, Venom, Carnage, the Lizard, and I think that it's, it's all these Selects for right now. The rest of them are just older uh, Marvel figures that I have kept throughout the years from childhood and otherwise. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, some of these are from Toy Biz, uh, as you can tell, you know, when they were still alive. There's the Toy Biz uh, Blackheart, which is which is uh, one of my favorites. That's cool stuff. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I am glad I kept them on most of these. And that's what some of the dioramas on the other shelf that came from, the, the miniature ones. Right here, we are going way high up because we have the Super Smash Brothers shelf to go over. Here we have the D-Arts Mewtwo that came with Mew. A Tomy Ivysaur that came in a three-pack with Charmeleon and Wartotal. A miniature Pikachu because the SH Figures Pikachu is way too big and it's also bull****. Uh, the World of Nintendo Fox McCloud. The Nendoroid Kirby. D Arts, Mega Man, Rush, and uh, that thing. Uh, uh, I know what it is, I just forgot the name of it. SH Figure Arts Ken from Street Fighter. Figma Link, the deluxe version. Figure Arts Bowser. Figure Arts Mario, Piranha Plant, Luigi, and Yoshi. Zero Suit Samus. Lucario, the Figure Arts version, the World of Nintendo Diddy Kong. Figma, a Persona 5 protagonist, also known as Akira Kurusu or Ren Amamiya, whichever you prefer, and Mona. Donkey Kong World of Nintendo. Nendoroid Isabel. Figma Samus from. Figma Samus from Metroid Prime 3. And the Figma S -S Inkling Girl from Splatoon. Figma Twilight Princess Zelda. Fig Figma Corrin, Tommy Incineroar that came with in his evolutionary uh, three pack. Uh, SH Figure Arts, I'm just kidding with you, it's the D-Arts Charizard. I don't have the Figure Arts version yet. And the Nendoroid Meta Knight. And moving on the way over here, we have some plushies. The 20th anniversary Dark Ride plush, that was the only one I could manage to get. Litten. Toad, Mario, and Kirby's are above there. We have Luigi buried somewhere back there, as well as a yellow Yoshi. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that. Over here, we have the SH Mo Monster Arts uh, figures. Starting here, we have 1954, 62 Godzilla, 64 Godzilla, 1992 bull**** po poster version, 1994, 95 Little Godzilla and Godzilla Jr., 95 uh, Adult Jr., Godzilla 2000, the Millennium version. Still waiting for, for that movie version to come out eventually, if ever. Special color version, Godzilla 2000. GMK Godzilla SH Monster Arts, and the SH Monster Arts Kiryu Goji. SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla, Shinigawa Kun, and Kamada Kun. Awakening of fourth form Shin Godzilla from Monster Arts. SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2017 and SH Monster Arts Godzilla Earth. And the little tiny 
baby Godzilla Godzilla Phileas. And we have the SH Monster Arts Kol Kyo Kyoku Biogoji. We are apparently getting the uh, standard ver standard version soon. Uh, we saw a silhouette of it that was teased by Tamashi. And apparently we're supposed to get more details on that soon. So uh, fingers crossed it's the 6 inch version we, were, we have all been hoping for. We have the SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzilla 1993. We have the SH Monster Arts Gabuda for the regular first release version, which is a new figure, figure, which is a new pack I actually just got for a pretty good price. Super Mecha Godzilla, Mogiba, Kuryu 2003, Mecha King Ghidorah, Kuryu Shinigawa Final Battle version, still a fantastic figure. The poster version, Mecha Godzilla 1993. And regular 2002 Kuryu, which is still a fantastic figure. Down here we have the 2004 Gigan from Final Wars. Even though he has many inaccuracies, he's still one of the best figures in the line in my opinion. We have the SH Monster Arts Special Color version, King Ghidorah. Here are the door rats that came with Mecha King Ghidorah. And here's the first version of the SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah. Here is Mecha Godzilla 1974. Here is the SH Monster Arts Mothra Mago, and here is the SH Monster Arts Mothra Larva. Down here we have a King of the Monsters shelf, consisting of either Monster Arts and or NECA. We have the SH Monster Arts Rodan from Godzilla King of the Monsters, the NECA Rodan from Same Movie, the NECA Burning Godzilla from Same Movie, the SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla 2019, SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019. King Ghidorah 2019, which I just reviewed with Scorpio Caesar. Check out the collaboration. SH Monster Arts Godzilla poster ver color version. SH Monster Arts event exclusive color version Godzilla 2019. NECA Godzilla 2014. SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014 Spitfire. And SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014 regular. And SH Monster Arts Mothra 2019 with the NECA Mothra 2019. And fun fact about that Rodan, it was sold to me by Scorpio Caesar, so I thank you very much for that. It, it was an excellent deal. Uh, uh, I, am pro I promise uh, I will take good care of him for you. In fact, I already am. He's nice and cleaned up, made sure his uh, stand was in there nice and tight. So, yeah, We've got that all taken care of and dandy. Moving on, moving onward, we have other stuff. We have the SH Monster Arts first version, Final Form Destroyer. Space Godzilla, the first release. Crab Destroyer from the Destroyer Evolution set. Aggregate Destroyer and Flying Form Destroyer from the same set. SH Monster Arts Fire Rodan. SH Monster Arts Batra Imago version. And the SH Monster Arts Batra Larva. And the SH Monster Arts first version Bio Lante. Cannot wait for the special color version, which is coming out by the end of this year. And yes, I, I do have that one on pre order. This is a great figure. If you did not get this figure, get the spell of color version ASAP. Now, by all means, do it. Because I don't want to hear any complaining with you from, oh, I could I couldn't get it, even though it was up for pre-order for the last few months. Dumb. Bandai Creations. I, I really did just said that. Bandai American Vinyl Burning Godzilla. American Vinyl Godzilla 2004. American Vinyl Space Godzilla 1954. Guy again. Guy again 2004. Godzilla 1968, Godzilla 2000, Movie Monster Series, uh, Toho Kaiju Series, Godzilla 2000, Kuryu, um, the 2003 version, which is the 6 inch repaint series, and the Movie Monster Series, Shin Godzilla, and here's the American Vinyl Mecha Godzilla 1993. Here we have other Movie Monster Series figures. We have the Movie Monster Series uh, Chainsaw Guy again with uh, Fire Road in. The Movie Monster Series Monster X with the, um, I think this is the Godzilla Island series, I guess. Yeah, this is the Godzilla Island series. I forgot the, uh, I forgot the, uh, the, the name of these sort of figures. I, the, I think these were, I forgot the, the, I like the brand that, that they had. That, that's how long, uh, that's how long they haven't, you know, made the figures. So, yeah, it, it's just like a cute, cute little, uh, Godzilla. I need to, to, to look up the, the name, maybe because right now I'm an idiot, but I don't feel like that, that, that checking myself. Bandai Movie Mo Mo Monster Series, uh, Gaios, Toto, Heisei Gamera, and Showa Gamera is back there as well. Yeah, yeah, I do like Gamera. I've seen a couple of the movies. They were pretty good. Um, but I'm not really a diehard fan to collect. Maybe I'll collect a, a couple of the Monster Arts, but for right now, um, I am st uh, I, I can stick with the vinyls. They are pretty decent figures. Bandai Purple Tag, Jet Jaguar, 
Bandai Movie Monster Series Mogira. Actually, no, that's the Godzilla Island Series Mogira, or Toho Kaju. Bandai American Vinyl King Ghidorah. Bandai uh, Godzilla Island Series King Caesar. Bandai American Vinyl Godzilla 1954, the same uh, Bandai American Vinyl Mecha Godzilla as this guy. Movie Monster Series, uh, well, the repaint Movie Monster Series uh, Heisei Godzilla. Bandai American Vinyl Rainbow Mantha. And the Bandai Movie Monster Series Kaiser Ghidorah. Moving on here, we have the American Vinyl 12 inch Final Wars Gagan. Bandai uh, Movie Monster Series repaint uh, 6 inch uh, Final Wars Gagan. Ben Prestro, Godzilla 2003, miniature Bandai American, uh, Bandai American uh, Burning Godzilla. Here we have Funko Pop Godzilla back there. Bandai uh, Godzilla Island Series, Guy Again. The Bandai uh, Vintage Movie Monster Series, King Ghidorah from Heisei. We have the little Buto that came with a, the uh, one of the Godzilla 2014 Jack Specific packs. I, uh, I think, that's what, think that's what it was. Bandai American Vinyl uh, Godzilla 2014. The Memorial Box 50th Anniversary Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla Jr. Miniature Biollante. Bandai American Vinyl 12 inch Kuryu or Kuryu. Bandai American Vinyl 12 inch Godzilla 2004. And the Bandai American Vinyl Godzilla 2001. And this is a little Godzilla Fireball uh, toy thing that came with the Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2004. I don't know why the seller included it, but hey, uh, I guess it, it's uh, pretty cute. Well, that happened. Moving on, we have the uh, Bandai Movie Monster Series Orga. We have the band. Well, that's not Movie Monster. That's Total Kaiju, technically. We have the Bandai American Vinyl Final Wars and US. Bandai Purple Tag Hedora. Bandai Movie Monster Series Six Inch Version Final Wars Rodan. Bandai American Vinyl Final Wars Rodan. Vintage uh, Bandai 1965 Baragon. Mecha King Ghidorah from the 6 inch Movie Monster series, as well as the 6 inch King Ghidorah, or the repaint version for the Movie Monster series. Godzilla 2004, uh, the, re the 6 inch version Movie Monster series. Godzilla 1968, which is the uh, which is the purple tag version. Bandai American Vinyl Destroya. And the Bandai Vinyl Destroyer, the repaint version of the movie, movie Monster version. Down here we have the Nakaga Godzillas, which I'm getting a lot more along the way uh, to complete the line because Nakaga lost the license and I don't want to deal with aftermarket prices. Here we have the Nakaga 1954 Godzilla, Nakaga 1984 Godzilla, the first release because you can tell by these shorter uh, dorsal plates. Yeah. Assuming it, 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 it's on them. Yeah, see? Yeah, so I can't wait to, to, to get the, the newer version. Um, NES, NECA Godzilla, Godzilla 2003, the NECA, and the Spitfire Godzilla 2001, which, again, was sold to me by Scorpio Caesar, along with the NECA King of the Monsters Rodan, so I thank you for that. This is the poster that came with the Monster Arts uh, poster version, uh, Godzilla 2019. I have it displayed there because I haven't found an actual place for it yet, so it's going to have to remain there for the time being. Here we have the SH Monster Arts 2005 Peter Jackson King Kong, and this is the Mezco King Kong, uh, Kong of Skull Island, Skull Island King Kong to be exact. Still looking for for the uh, NECA King Kong, but my, but my targets, you know, really, really suck. So uh, I'm gonna have to order it online. That, that, that's the case. But anyway, that's pretty much. Take a, take a gander. That's pretty much all my stuff. Well, that's pretty much the whole collection. I do apologize that a lot of things may have been out of focus for you, too blurry to see. That's because, you know, I had to constantly adjust the focus on my camera to, to make sure, you know, everything could be seen clearly. Sometimes I may have messed up on a couple parts, so I do apologize about that. I'm only one guy. My camera is not exactly the greatest when it comes to auto-focusing, so manual focus was the way to go for me. But anyway, still, I hope you enjoyed this long overdue video that should have been done a while ago, and I and I do mean a while ago. So I do apologize about that, but um, yeah. So hopefully everything can get back in action, back in order, because I hope you've been enjoying my Mario 3D All Star live streams to keep you occupied while I'm working on some other videos. Because um, like I said, I got a backlog, and I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna put a straw poll uh, in the description below for you to choose which backlog figures should I go over next. Uh, the two choices I'm going to have 
are these strong collectibles Mortal Kombat figures and the Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball figures. So if you want to see any of those, uh, be sure to vote in, in, the, in, in the straw poll link that is provided to you in the description below. Votes in the comment section are not going to count. I repeat, will not count. Don't even, don't even do it. But anyway, that is it for this video. I am Super Mario Zilla. I am out. Thank you very much for watching. If this video was way too long for you, I apologize. There's no way I could shorten it. So I hope you guys and gals can see why I usually do this, but with the music in the background. But, hope, but maybe this was a nice change of pace for you. Maybe you don't mind the long length. Who knows? But anyway, I am Super Mario Zilla, and I am out. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.